In this quick tutorial, I'm going to explain the phenomena of on-the-fly projection in QGIS. Put simply, it's a mechanism used in QGIS and, well, in many other GIS software packages as well, that basically allows you to view geospatial data layers with different native coordinate reference systems on a single platform or a single map canvas, if you will. And I'm going to explain that using a simple example like this. Imagine this is my QGIS workspace and uh, well, I have the project CRS defined as 4326 and I have already imported a layer called station locations, which has a native CRS of 4326. And the station locations are basically just four point features, uh, as you can see right over here. And outside I have two vector data layers, one's called parks and the other one is called waterways. This one has a native CRS of 32630 and this one has a native CRS of 27700. Just keep in mind that I have set the project CRS of my QGIS working environment to be 4326. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add this parks layer into my QGIS workspace and see what's going to happen to its original structure. Yes, we added the parks shapefile or the parks vector data layer into my workspace. But did you see that it kind of stretched itself to make sure that visually it's in the right form to get displayed on a platform which uses a project CRS of 4326. So its original CRS was 32630, but what it's doing right now is it's appearing as if its CRS is 4326, even though its native CRS is 32630. All right, let's go ahead and try to add this waterways vector data layer as well. And you did notice that it kind of got stretched a little bit. And what's going on over here? Its original or its native CRS is 27700, but now it's appearing as if its CRS is 4326. Why? Because QGIS is providing it with a platform which uses a project CRS of 4326. So it kind of has to adapt itself to visually appear as if its original CRS is 4326. And in a nutshell, this is what on-the-fly projection is. It's when a layer's native coordinate reference system or layer CRS, in other words, is temporarily adjusted to match the CRS of the QGIS project so that all layers can align properly on the map, no matter what their original coordinate reference systems happen to be. And guys, this phenomenon is a really important point because if QGIS didn't do this, we would be in a whole lot of trouble because only this way we are able to properly compare various data layers with each other in a sensible manner from a visualization perspective at least, when multiple data layers with completely different coordinate reference systems are brought together to one single platform. And if QGIS didn't have this on-the-fly projection feature, every data layer would just exist in its own little virtual space, and we would probably never be able to work with them properly on a single platform.